Hello YouTube yes. once again welcome to the depression this is free that's the channel thank you for your contribution to the channel and your comments and also some of the questions and knowledge you have made for the channel to grow and also for your aspiration to design a free generator remember this is the only channel that brings to you the different details on how you can design a free generator and so far so good uh, so many subscribers have been able to design and also able to share the knowledge you are experiencing in the different course of the design today i'm going to discuss a very important thing which i believe is based on a comment or question one of my subscribers asked and i'm going to make it very explicit for you to know uh, the topic I'm going to discuss on is how to determine cost in building a 5kV generator. How to determine the cost. You know, the cost of building a generator varies. It all depends on the kind of materials you are going to use during the course of the design. Uh, some may use lesser cost and some may be more than, uh, higher cost. All depends on the kind of materials, but the, all the result will be all the same. So in this place, I'm going to discuss the kind of cost, how to uh, determine the cost of what I'm going to do. And for you to do, for me to do that, I'm going to read uh, one of my one of the questions uh, my subscriber asked. On that is where I'm going to discuss space. He said, "Dear engineer Stephen." A very good afternoon to you. Please permit me to say a very big well done for you, the free energy director. Without, without doubt, we believe in your project. Thank you very much, Kyrie, and also thank you for your acknowledgement of this project. Now, he asks, please, can you mass produce this machine? And what is the cost of 3K? 3KWS, 2KVA, 5KVA, 7.5KVA, 10KVA, 15KVA for single phase complete generator, AC synchronous generator, electric motor flyway and bed shaft, likewise three phase from 20 to 500 kV respectively. Can you I understand your question. Your question has a multiple answers because you are asking different things. You are asking for one phase and also for three phase. Um, once, first of all, you ask about mass production. I have not yet done a mass production on this system because of the cost and also for government approval. Because for you to make a mass production to the market says you need to have a license. You must be uh, given approval by the government for you to go ahead. Because you can't do without the government authority because you must always have a, a system that back you up in case of any emergency or any problem arising on that issue. So we I am still pursuing that system as if hoping that I schedule on the issue of uh, uh, government approval and from there I can go into mass production which uh, I know um, most of my subscribers will be aware because when I start this process I'm going to inform everybody about what we're going to but for now I have a book on this which I believe you also help you because what I'm wanting everybody to do now is to get the book then study it and then produce for yourself which most people are doing because it is not about mass production but the cost of production also will be very high and if you produce and people cannot be able to afford to buy it is as big as not producing that is what i'm trying to say but i'm going to discuss is because of question i'm going to decide about the cost of producing these things on one single phase not three phase i'm going to do about one single phase system now the question my two is please how long can this machine run can it run perpetually 24 hours this is very if not what enhancement does it require to do, to do this this machine first of all i have been asked you probably asked this question about how long will this uh, machine work how long does this uh, machine work let me ask tell you one thing you have you used fan in your house have you used anything fan let me see half the fan or standing fan now i want to ask a question how long does your fan last long how long does it run can your fan run to the four hours can it run the 365 days if yes then definitely this machine also can do because the fan uses the same process of this machine the only different the, the fan has to have electricity supply before it can run but this one has its own self generator system but they are all using the same 
inductive coil which enable them to rotate so the same method of the fan same method of the of the generator they all the differences based on the issue of uh, this one has its own supply from the and that's it see where that one has a supply from self running so but what i'm going to tell you is that look, this machine can run as long as possible it can run to the far west can run to the or the system like this if you want to allow the machine to run the whole here without putting it off it all depends on you but remember that it's also equipment and if you are right to run that way so also it is of breaking down because if you coil overheated because of long usage without stoppage definitely it will also affect the coil which is it's a machine it's not a, a, a robot it's not a, a stone and you say okay even if it's there for many years as long as it doesn't break down it doesn't stop now but it's a machine so if you run it for 24 hours it is advisable for you to allow it to cool for some time before you take over so that it will make it durable but if you say because it's free and then you want to make it to the hours a month with hours a day and then for the term, a year without stopping all is left for you but remember is what a machine the tendency of breaking down is there so that is what the question means so now i am going to discuss more i think about please also at what point would the maintenance require what at what point would the machine require maintenance please let me know yes this is a very important point and i'm going to discuss the periphery this machine though i'm going to make a video on maintaining failure generator in subsequent time but let me just draw a line this this machine as a system now it has two things in common it has generator and electric motor and these are the two primary uh, devices that enable free engine to run the every things is so supplementary the two primary things that make free engine to run is the the generator here and the electric motor now if these two are available the tendency that you can have a free generator in your house is there. Now, the maintenance cost of these two things is when the two things are being used for a long time, it's advisable for you to call an electrician to open the coil and do a coil servicing. Because the coil may run for a long time and after some time you see that it will start binding because of my usage. So you are advisable to call and this will only happen when you discover that the machine is giving you a, maybe a slow speed. And the same thing happens to the generator because also you also use the power system. If the generators are running for a long time and you don't have any issues on it, no problem. But when you start having a, a slowdown, you can go ahead and ask them to recall. The good thing about the frame generator is that you can do recall of these two things and you still have it still look as if it's new. Most of this most of this equipment you see now, most of them in the market are not pure new. Some of them are recurring. So if this machine maybe you have used it for like 10 or 10, 15 years without maintenance or without anything, because it does not require uh, oil, so you don't require the so can call a uh, uh, mechanic to come and open the gig and then put oil and service. No, this is a mere pure electric. It runs on its own, so the maintenance cost is zero now after some years of usage the machine that definitely will run down that one is basic in that kind of case now you are expected to call an electrician to come and remove the coil and do a call recurring the current process is very important because when you do the current using a proper copper then the machine cannot re re refresh that is what refresh it cannot have a new look and then have a new performance system which make it to run faster and faster again okay let us take a look at this at this uh, system now for instance now let me look at take a look at the system as this now now you see this this uh, electric motor this electric motor as this now is looks a bit new but i can tell you it's not new now if this electric motor has issue now you can go ahead and call a, a good electrician Ask him to open this thing and do recording. And when you do recording, you can spread it back and it will still function as if it's a new generator. Let, okay, let's just, let me take a look at Let us open and see the generator now. See the generator for this thing. Do you understand better what I'm talking about?
this is only for demonstration purpose when you can do that you can see it now if you are that okay let's let it take a root now if you are that this generator you recall that it's not it's not new you can see it's not new it's just a used generator now but it can still give you the required speed or the power pressure you have you need but you know why because the coil is still very sound when the coil is still very sound even if the generator is not new it can still give you what you want that is why if you see this generator now it looks somehow uh, scatter it means there was scatter it means there was some scatter and somebody will expect that because it looks somehow scatter it will not be able to produce as the required production you want but that is not that so one good thing about alternator is that even if it looks somehow old and not too new as you expect if the inside if the coil and the aperture is also sound you can still have the what you want you can see it will produce on its fullness that is the essence for this now look at this now now if you see this you can see the speed of the of the, of the motor the motor is running at the motor is running at its full speed. Now, why is the motor running at its full speed? It's because of the fact that even upon the uh, it's probably the fact that the the coil inside the motor is still very sound. So we call the coil very sound, the motor is still running. And when the motor is running at the speed, remember I told you in my whole of operation that it is the motor that determines the rate at which the generator runs. So if the motor is still very sound, you say that the the generator is still moving at the fast rate as you can see the speed ratio. But if you look at uh, clearly now, look at clearly, you see that this 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 uh this generator if you look at clearly you know that it's it's just a, a spray generator, it's not pure new as you can see it's not it's just a spray a, a spray generator, it's not pure new. That is why you see the, the upper part is removed. Now if the upper part is removed we know that in ordinary by by our, by our own standard you can see you can see the upper part is removed and you can see the collection of everything the device all that so ordinary we can expect that the generator cannot produce what we want because it's not new and it's not, but you can see that it's producing what you want it's giving the best production and it's also running at the best speed why because the core of the generator is still very sound when the core is still very sound the generator will always give you the best and I want to say this it's not about uh, even if you are using it for less than years as long as the core is still very sound the generator will always produce this is best you will always have the best position at any time as well and you can see the speed of the generator is very high it's giving the best you can, you can tell about the speed is high and the time is very high so it is all depends on how long the energy can be to if this and it's called as a slow or this and it's changed in the thing is the energy change in pressure. All you need to do is you go and do the recording. That's what the best thing I can advise you. Go and do the recording, record the generator so you can be able to have a better pressure. And when you do the recording, I I I I promise you, you will always have the best pressure when the generator is recorded. And that is where the system functions better. So this the maintenance cost is all depend on the current system. So if you want to do when you try to the director, all you need to do go and meet the if you use it for like one, three or five ten years in us and you expect this in slow or slow down in pressure, which you are yeah, the same way you are usually doing your uh, pressure as a person to do the current or the same core. Best, you know. that's, that's the best I can advise you to do. So, that's the only thing I can start seeing. The only thing I can do is to do the best I can do.